Tell, Tell me what you think, think about, about me. I got my own diamonds and I got my own rings. You know more lyrics than I do. When I hit up and leave. Question. <laughs> Tell me what you think about this. <laughs> Lesser known characters. Known characters. All right, let's get into it. Welcome back to another episode of Lesser Known Characters, where we sit down with some of our favorite people and get to know a little bit more about them through their musical interests. And today we have stand-up comedian and Twitch. I don't even know how you say it, Twitch aficionado. Stre- not a Twitch streamer. Twitch streamer. Twitch streamer. Twitchionado. Twitchionado. And you can find him on his Twitch. It's uh, JD Run JD. Backwards, run, run JD, JD, run. run. You, oh. you don't have to plug the Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't have to plug anything. I'm doing. Just, I really did it backwards. Yeah, you did. It's oh. okay. At least you don't call me DJ. People, I've had that before. People be yeah. like, "Yo, DJ, love this. <laughs> you love this yeah. stand-up comedy clip." I'm like, "DJ, I'm, like, I'm such a big fan." I'm like, <laughs> "Bitch, you can see my letters. Stop yeah. playing with me." <laughs> what if they're dyslexic? Then uh, I'm, dis- I'm dyslexic, and I don't, okay. I don't mess it up. Okay. Yeah, he don't mess it up. Yeah, hey, well, maybe your name is DJ, and that's how you see it. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. No, yeah. that'd be funny. That'd as be well. hilarious. Yeah. But wait, yeah. dyslexia isn't seeing. No, I know. It's, 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 no, it's I'm more just, just being stupid right, right? now. Dyslexia is. Uh, dyslexia, my cousin's name. Dile- <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. Hey, yo, dyslexia, what's good? Bro, I really fucked up the word dyslexia. It said dyslexia. Yeah, it's on brand. Bro, actually, that name does sound tight. I can't wait dilexia. to give my daughter that. <laughs> dyslexia or dyslexia? Dyslexia. Or if her name is Lexia and you go, yo, did you did you try to dyslexia? <laughs> you better not be dyslexia. Did you to, hey, you try to dyslexia? That's my daughter that's homie. my daughter boy where are your drums for the <laughs> <laughs> i need to get i need to get one. it's a lot more want want wants with my <laughs> 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 that's funny as shit anyways we're excited to have you yeah, yeah. appreciate y'all having me yes yo. of course man we didn't say his full did we say jd witherspoon oh jd witherspoon that's my name oh okay. well, yeah we didn't even get to say his name my bad i'm sorry don't, don't wear it out. I know. Mm-hmm. Don't wear it out. No, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> you know, JD, uh, DJ skates. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know you skated. I got yeah. the skates on. I got the yeah. jump. Wow. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. A skateboard I used to skate hardcore when I was younger. Yeah, you know, Casey. same. As a kid. Yeah. And Oh, yeah, because you know Casey. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my boy. We used to skate. All, well, I was getting, I got back into it around that time because me and my boy, I don't know if you know my boy Henry. You probably you might know him, you might not. Him and Casey worked together at Val. Mm. Uh, uh, Val, Val Sir. Yeah, so they, yeah. they worked together for like, man, what feels like eight years possibly. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I met my boy Henry back in the day when I was sixteen at a Super Smash Brothers tournament. And then we randomly ran back into each other in college and started I started skating again around like nineteen, eighteen, and then started to like see how far I could go with it. Yeah. And then I would like hang out with him and we would go hit spots out here in LA and all that stuff and wait time out you're deep in the game yeah yeah I mean I guess if you do the switch thing yeah no like I've been playing since I was like three I don't know yeah. it depends on what games you're talking about I'm Man, more, the hardest more than... game hardest game on earth before we get into it. hardest game on earth Tetris no freaking Mario Mario <laughs> yeah freaking Mario like, depends you can't like come on we know that's like a <laughs> tough ass game I don't know I feel like I am feel... I bugging I'm with yeah, you. It depends on the It le- is a very but hard I'm game. But I'm terrible at game. I don't have the fucking eye hand. The eye I mean, hand? What is it? Oh, eye hand, hand coordination. coordination. I thought you were talking about yeah. new product. I was like, he got the eye hand. Oh, you got the eye hand? 15. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the eye hand 15. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see you. I it's see like you, when Nintendo boy. first came out with the glove. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, the power glove. They had glove. it in the movie. Yeah. Nintendo had a glove. See, I didn't even know that. Power glove. That's just something from back in the day. Yeah, yeah. no. I've been yeah. playing video games long enough where it's just a fun hobby, so... Do you, I accidentally got into doing all the other stuff. Do you like Mortal Kombat? I do. I'm a Street Fighter dude over that. Damn, mm. for real? Mortal Kombat's just like a very stiff fighting game, in my opinion. It just doesn't move the same. Yo, shout out to the power. You like Marvel game. versus Capcom? Marvel versus Capcom is a good game, that's too. That's a good one. But I that, love that, that one's In the sense of just like, but that's like a 3v3 fighting game. Mm. Mortal Kombat is a 1v1, obviously. Street Fighter... I, I think it's uh, it's just the fact that I took the time to get good at Street Fighter at a certain point, yeah. and <coughs> I was never gonna I was never gonna do it. And then a friend of mine, when Street Fighter Four came out back in like 2009, was like, "Oh, if we we gotta buy arcade sticks, which is like you buy a portable yeah. arcade stick to play." And now I don't know how to play 
as well on controller than I would with this. Really? Yeah, I like know the commands to do stuff. Like I like in my head I can do like Akuma's Raging Demon right now. Yeah, like I know how it goes. Damn. <laughs> like it was because I took time and like practiced and like I was that was when I was like starting to making uh, gaming YouTube videos. Right. Uh, and I just started. I don't know. It was just one of them things where like video games are just. I, I think I was always in that mindset where like in the sense of en my life, I always was going to be doing. I started entertainment on a whim. A friend told me I was funny. It's not because I'm related to somebody who's already funny. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it. I didn't want any parts of it because I was yeah. like, mm, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, my dad's missed 30 percent of my life already. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really want to be a part of that thing. Yeah, yeah, Same yeah. with stand up. It was all very much like dares. Like, uh, like, yeah. you know, that's how I got into stand up. Yeah. It was a dare. Yeah. yeah. No my one. No one ever told me I was funny. And that I should do stand up. <laughs> <laughs> stand up is a choice. Stand up. <laughs> it was more like. I, I'm funny. I want to show you guys how yeah. funny. <laughs> but nobody was ever like, man, you should do stand up. Nah, I, I, I love your origin story. Joel. <laughs> I only did it because uh, the same guy I was just talking about who was uh, really close with Casey and uh, my boy Henry. He dared me to do it after we randomly went to the Laugh Factory one night. Mm. And uh, it was like we came from a, out here in Hollywood. We were like in our early 20s and went to a whack ass club or a party right off of Hollywood Boulevard in okay. one, one of those buildings where they're yeah. like, you know, they're charging cover for the dudes yeah. and all that stuff. And it was like an hour or two in and it was whack. And we were like, damn, bro, we lost $40 each. Like this yeah, sucks. Yeah. And time. Yeah. Time. And then I was like, let's go find something else to do. And then we just started driving together down sunset and we passed the laugh factory. And I think I'm like probably 20 one, maybe 20, maybe 20, but I think it was like 2010 or something. And, uh, we drove past it and I was like, "You want to go see a comedy show?" I and like literally, n I, I. It's even funnier knowing that I am related to someone who's a comedian, not understanding the context of how a comedy club works. Because mm. that's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. it's like you know, if I went, I was being dragged. I wasn't trying to go when I was younger. Yeah. So anything I knew about it was just like, oh yeah, my dad just he works in those and like you know sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes I'm either allowed to go in or I'm stuck in the green room or the lobby. Because, yeah. because of legal you know age and all this mm -hmm. stuff with drinking um and then he was like he was like yeah you want to go see a comedy show and i'm like no but if the owner's at this club i think i can get us in for free yeah, yeah and then he was because i was like he's known me since i was a baby mm. and then he was like yeah whatever let's fuck around find out so then we like parked i went over to the front of the laugh factory and i asked whoever the door guy was at the time you know got it got you know got a hard on for being a, a damn bouncer and uh, I was like, hey, is uh, Jamie here? And then they were like, Jamie who? And I was like, the owner? At the time, I was like, Masada's? Masidi? Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. his last name. I was yeah. like, whatever. He's like, let me check. He's like, who's who's asking? I was like, could you tell him Witherspoon's kid is here? Just hanging out? Just yeah. wanted to say hi because I'm around? And then it was like, he was like, yeah, sure. And he sent someone off or maybe he went by himself, but he went and then like Jamie like ran outside the building mm. and he was like, buddy, I knew it, buddy, oh, buddy, lady, buddy, 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 it is time. You are ready to be comic like your oh, papa. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. I'm yeah. so good, dog. Me and my friend were just bored and like <laughs> yeah. the, the club and the hoes were whack a few minutes ago. Yeah, we we're yeah. just trying to hang out and see a comedy show. And then, and he was already like slizzed off of some like uh, wine or something. So he like pulled up, and then next thing you know, he was like, "Yes, yes, come in, come in, come upstairs. Let's hang in the VIP and we'll chat." And then we hung out and chatted. And then I don't know what happened, but in between me going to the bathroom and my friend being chatty with him, he was like, "You guys should try comedy and <laughs> get into it." And I like came back from the bathroom. My boy was like, "Yo, we should come back and do the open <laughs> mic." I was like, "Hell no." And I was like, one, I was like, I'm looking at him. I'm like, bro, you're not even the funny one in the group. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. cut that yeah, shit, right? Let's yeah, stop yeah, right there. Yeah. And I was like, and two, I was like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had just started, like, acting 
and whatnot. And I only acted because some friends in college were like, well, you always wasting time making us laugh in class. Why don't you try to get on TV? Oh, you made people laugh in class. I mean, I've always been. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? It's it's chill. He's Damn. got a funny story about some dude going, hey, homie, shut the fuck up. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I got one like that, too, though. But it was yeah, but it yeah, wasn't yeah, me yeah. being funny. But nah. No, nah, he was trying to be funny. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, <right. laughs> well, you know what? I'm glad you persevered, my boy. Here I <laughs> am, dude. Yeah. Yeah. God damn so it, from Mo. the gaming to the comedy. I feel like there's so much for you, like music wise, that you could go to. I, I so I don't know your answer. Wait, so how'd you end up getting oh, up? Wait, you wait. went back, or did you go up that night? Oh, I mean, I'll, yeah. Let's. I can run to that real quick. Uh, so no, so run, run JD. No, no, run. no. You're good. No, listen. Look, we got, we got to stay the course. I'm glad someone's a pro- yeah. professional. No, yeah, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I'm, I don't know which one of y'all looking at each other. <laughs> no, no. Uh, no. Just to end that quick story. Jamie gives us whoever the booker's email is at the time. And I think we like responded within like a week and said, yeah, can we, we'll try to come up and do the open mic in like, I don't know, next week or so. And then we, we set it up. We did. We got to skip that dumbass line. I'll say nice. that, you oh, know, yeah, yeah. I mean, I did wait in that line though, regardless, I think after the fact to sign up for a future one after that. Yeah. But like I'm not gonna lie, I it, I guess it was a nepo pull. Like I I was yeah. allowed I was allowed to get up earlier than most. I will say that sure, in the yeah. sense of like Jamie was like he was excited to see if I could actually be funny. Yeah. Um. And then yeah, me and my boy we went back and I remember my first. I don't have it recorded or even on audio, but I do remember my first set. That was my first ever stand up at the Laugh Factory, which is funny because most people are like you started there, and I'm like. I guess I don't know. It yeah. was it was the only comedy venue I knew of, <laughs> like yeah, outside sure. of the store yeah. and the improv. <clears throat> I was just like, "Aren't you supposed to start there?" And they're yeah. like, "Oh, bro, nah, that's like big dog shit." I was like, uh, "Really?" Yeah. <laughs> like they're thinking like more, you know. I, and also, I don't think there was much of an indie scene for open mics like that back then. Maybe mm. there's a few, but this is like 2010. Yeah. So like that's like the end of like. Or maybe it's either, I think it's the end of the dark ages at the comedy stores. I started I, in 2011. That's when like yeah. more of like the bar mics and stuff were. Kind yeah, of those started. But. Yeah, yeah. I feel like yeah, definitely then. But uh, yeah, we went back, did the open mic. Uh, I you know three minute clean. That's the laugh factor. You're yeah. not you're supposed to you know. So I wrote what I thought was I'm like all right three minutes. I'll write one minute jokes each. I'm like mm. three one minute jokes. And I remember I did three of them. Two of them hit harder than one. And the one of them was just like mid, mid yeah. and then my boy bombed and never came back. <laughs> yeah. Or no, it. or no, he might have done one more set after that, but he was just like, "Eh, that was fun, like a fun little experiment." And I was like, I enjoyed that, because yeah. especially as an actor, because I had been acting from like, I mean, I acted a little bit as a kid just being around my family, but I think I started taking acting seriously in college when I was like eighteen, nineteen. So yeah. it's was, it was one of them scenarios where. Because acting was one of those things where it's like, oh, I don't get any like feedback, validation, nothing. I send it, I send my shit, no idea if they like me, and I know that they liked me if I got a job, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So <laughs> I so the gratification that I got from knowing that I was like, oh shit, like I wrote something, went up there, said it out loud, heard laughs, I know it's funny. Mm-hmm. Boom. You know what I mean? And I and I don't think I like really fell in love with stand up until like maybe year four. Cause I just use it as like a tool to be better as an entertainer as a whole. Like it, almost kind of like when people go to UCB just to be like, Oh yeah, yeah. I did UCB. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I did that shit too. I was like, title, I did one on one pay for that dumb shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bunch of people, bunch of people be in there just trying to get better at talking. I was like, wait, what's happening? They're yeah. like, yeah, man, I just came cause I want to be better at public speaking. I'm like, bitch, I'm trying to get to a career. You got to get the fuck out my yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get out of my way. Go join Scientology or you know, something. I, I always found Fine, that I funny. Will. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, but no. And you know what? I guess I was lucky enough on my open mic. I, I closed out the open mic, which was closer to their 8 o'clock show. Yeah. So you have a bunch of open micers who went up between like 6 to or like 6.30 to 7.30. And then my spot came around like 7.45. So... The 8 o'clock show, they started seating them earlier. So I had like a room of 50, maybe 50 or 60 people. So, nice. I, was, so I got real feedback compared to the first person on the open mic who all they got to do pre- was perform in front of other comics. Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, okay, all right, I kind of get what I'm doing. 
You know, yeah, I was holding the mic like a goddamn rapper. Like I hated that shit. Like I was yo, like, yo, 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 what's I, up? yo, check it out, check it out. I, they, they, I've got, I've got footage from some of my first. Uh, if you ever did the Fresh Faces at Laugh Factory, mm-hmm. I have I like, that, I have yeah. a few copies of them, and it's just cringe. I mean, I was getting laughs, but I was yeah, like, yeah. God damn it! No, what I you, understand. What are you doing up there, Eminem? I've never <laughs> stepped foot in Laugh Factory. Only the Covino one. Oh really? Yeah. Never Till this day. There. Yeah. Because all yeah. the Mexicans are in Covino. Nope. I oh. just uh well George Perez to to take me to open for him there. Yeah, so, see, uh, that's what happened. Yeah, isn't there a lot of Mexicans in Covina? Yeah, yeah. There's oh, a yeah. lot of Mexicans everywhere. Shout out to Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mexican American. I want more Mexican fans, bro. Fuck the bullshit. I'm, tr- I'm trying to right. I'm trying to sell out in Oxnard. Right. Fuck the bullshit. Seriously. Everywhere. They're the dopest. They are dope. The dopest. They just like to have fun. The fucking greatest. They're not judging you. They're just like, no, they're like, bro, I'm have, already drunk. Bro, I, I'm already drunk. <laughs> I literally, I literally just want to have fun. You can say the stupidest shit. I'm probably going to laugh. I fucking love just it. Just don't be too emotionally vulnerable on stage or they will not like that. They're like, hey, fool, shut the fuck <laughs> yeah. up. I mean, yeah, you, you got to be emotionally vulnerable with like, but it's got to be funny still. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've done, I've done like emotionally vulnerable stuff, but it like ends with a pop. Like I'm not, yeah. even, I, or it's like, I don't even realize it's funny. I'm genuinely talking the way yeah. I talk. And then it's like, yeah. And then, you know, he said, fuck you. And it's like, yeah. oh, that's hilarious. And it's like, whoa, whoa. Hey man, that was trauma. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey fool. All right. Well, let's get into it then. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, uh, so basically this is how the, the uh the format works mm-hmm. so i'll ask a question you answer it and don't worry he's got your i know you're looking for your answers he's got no his, oh yeah i was double checking yeah, he's got your answers uh i'll ask the question you answer and then we'll kind of riff and kind of let the conversation flow us through the rest of the questions let's do let's it. let's do it okay so jd what was the first album that you bought okay so this is the first album I was given. It's Sugar Free Street Gospel. Wow. No way. At like 11 years old. At 11? Old. Are we allowed to play this? Are yeah. Y'all, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, we don't, yeah. Y'all, y'all, don't, y'all don't care about copyright? Oh, we're he, not he, making any money. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but it's all good. The, listen, the co- bruh, I think this is one. <laughs> is this, this a, wait, 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 wait. Is this our oh, 05? I seven trick gave me a beat. Now Pomona's it's on the. Wait, let it. Yeah, let it play. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, wait. Is it? No, this is maybe this is the right. This one. is just the intro. What song you need? Oh, maybe it's the next song. Yeah. Either way, I don't know why I was listening to. It. Yeah. This oh is my it. god! The first time I heard this, dude, I <laughs> this lost shit's my crazy, mind. Like, Who the bro? fuck is this guy? I, I, He's the pimp. pimp. It made I me a street now for money. It's on it. <laughs> <laughs> like the money. Why, why you bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, why you bullshit? Damn, that homie love. Bro, you know how smooth he is still to this crazy. day. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's dope. Have you seen him today? <laughs> Bro. He, uh, I, I went to uh, a game concert and Game brought him out. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's just like smooth Bro. as ever. He's it's never he, gone away. He's uh, he's one of them people where it's like he, the times have moved on, but not him. Not him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not him. He will forever be sugar free. And, and, and listeners, don't beat me up. He's Bay Area, right? I don't know. I think he's LA. I think he's just. I think he's just straight LA. I would have to. I would have to Google that. But he. I believe he's like Compton, LA. Like oh, okay. him. And, him and DJ Quick are hella close the and all that. Street yeah. sign in the back of this says uh, La Cienega. Oh, La Cienega. Yeah. yeah. yeah he, oh no, he's Whoa, like. Oh, can Mike say that? <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to stutter. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, he's he's for sure like. So this was your first south of Pico. Well, so like someone give it gave it to you? No. So here's the thing. This is the first album, like like a real CD, I remember listening to, right? Yeah. But I mean, if we're gonna go back to like me being a child, it was probably like I don't know the 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 Disney's Mickey Mouse hip hop for sure or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. CD wise, I was listening to in like 1994 or five, four through six. I was trying to listen to the West Side Connection CD yeah. that first came out. Yeah. And I want to say that's probably around when my dad started working on Friday and shit. I think wow. he probably got a copy or something yeah, from yeah. Cube. That's going crazy, to his house. That's crazy. Dude. But my mom, so my <laughs> mom insane. my mom saw that and was like, Oh, you can't listen to this. This yeah. is wild. And I don't know how or when or why she came across Sugar Free. But was she like this one's good. She thought that like his she name. She thought that was fine. She th- no. She never listened to it. She thought it was like a like a that's a wholesome rapper. Oh, Sugar, Sugar Free. Sugar Free. <laughs> the name. I think the name made her think that that was like wholesome wow. hip hop wow. and street gospel. She's like he's gospel. Yeah, no, like, I, I promise you, she did not know what she gave me in sixth grade. <laughs> 
and like I remember being like, no, I want to listen to West Side Connection because I think it was definitely the one where it was like, we be clubbing. That's right. You know, it was definitely that one. And she was just aware of like, I guess, Ice Cube's background. So for she, sure. So she's you like, with her. yeah, and yeah. she was just like, yeah, no, uh-huh. like you know, you can listen to this with us maybe in the living room, but I'm not gonna give you the whole CD. Is your mom from LA? No, she's from Washington DC. Oh, got it, got it. Yeah, my dad's from Detroit. She's from DC. Yeah, because I was wondering, um, if she, if, yeah, especially if she came up in LA. I know. Uh, <laughs> Imagine, no, no. She, then she would have known what she was handing yeah, me. Yeah, she, she didn't even read the back. No, I, didn't read. She couldn't have read like why what you the bullshit. What, yeah, what the track? No, <laughs> I'd rather give you my. Bitch. Yeah, that's the track right there. I'd rather give you my bitch. I'd rather give you my bitch. Yeah, <laughs> then I let you breathe. No, my last bit. Uh, oh, shit. I love it smoke. too because Dub C has a bit of that, like that same can I gang, can I gang, like that weird oh, gang, yeah, yeah, BB yeah, bang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Same sort of like sugar free bro. Style but is. yeah, so she, so I got sugar free. And then I remember the first morning she gave it to me was like, she's like, no, no, can't you here, take this with you to school. And like, yes. got the old Sony Walkman, the yellow joint. Little did mom and know. loaded that up. Got on the bus, and then I started listening. And that fucking shoo, 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 yeah. oh four and I seven <laughs> trick gave me a beat. Now for mom is on it. Then it it. I'm like, what the fuck is it? Yeah. At 11 years old, I was bugging, and then. I listened all the way through, and I was like, this is insane. That's a dope first album. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, definitely. That being, was, a, being 11 years old? That was a good year, because I think I, after that, it's like the Marshall Mathers LP popped off. Wait, how off. far? Yeah. I'm, I'm 37. How old are you? I'm 36. 36? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're a year apart. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, that was the first CD that I remember being like, oh, this is mine, and this is like... I, I thought my mom was giving me like some kids bop shit. Yeah, yeah. you're like sugar free. I was like, what is what? this? Yeah, you know. And then I heard it on the bus, and I was like, this is not for kids. I love it. <laughs> All right, that's well, the then, first then, time then, we've had sugar free. I know, show, first yeah. time we Bro. have. So, yep. Okay. So that, so that, let that, we'll let that transition into the next question. Yeah. Then what was what was like the anthem of your youth? Okay, I when you played anthem of the youth, I was just thinking like the song that I feel like is still an anthem today. But oh yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> of my, which <laughs> wait, pause it real quick. Gross. <laughs> that, that juvenile back that ass up, cash money. Well, I'm, but I genuinely it was huge. It, it was. It's, I mean nine nine and two. So like. Nine, yeah, nine to the 2000. 2000. Yes. We were working with that ass. Yeah, with that everybody day. was singing this shit, and it's like to this day it'll still smash. I don't care who you are. Like, if anything, your grandma or whoever's yeah. your auntie in your life, who's our age, thirty yes. something years old, is like, "Yo, y'all kids need to get the fuck off that dance Seriously, floor. Get I out of the way." It's, it's crazy the yeah. amount of strength that this song no that holds no. to this day. This song is iconic. I had an older actor friend from New Orleans. He's like. 60, 70, yeah. and he like he's like, yeah, I remember the hot boy. There was like everywhere. In oh New yeah, this it's, last year. It's this is quite literally like a song that is like timeless. I don't I don't care Gosh, when. This makes me feel like I'm a junior high again, yeah, bro. That's dude. A, so that's the thing you said. You said like song of the youth, and it's terrible that this is our song of the <laughs> youth. This is the song of the youth. But look at the youth. The youth yeah. is in the crowd, bro. Dude. Like, bro. Yeah. I had a homie that would rap the whole song. All the time. Oh, yeah. I was just thinking about, like, a song that was monumental during my childhood. Yeah. But then also, like, I would hear no matter, like, what party, what, you know, school, after school activity. Obviously, it's probably a censored version. Yeah. I probably didn't see the music video until, like, maybe two years after or a year after on, like, I don't know, MTV or BT yeah. or The Box or something or VH1. Yeah. Shout out to The Box. Yeah, shout out to The Box. You know what's sick I'm watching right now? Everybody looks like real humans. Like the girls, yeah, they all look. Oh, the yeah, crowd, yeah. they look like real people. Yeah, this is, a, this is organic. <laughs> yeah, this is very organic. Yeah. This, this is, is organic. This humans. is this is free range. Yes, <laughs> yes nobody's yes, doing exactly. fucking con- <laughs> contouring their face. Ain't no, ain't yeah. no preservatives in this shit, no, boy. That's, 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 that's sugar free. Sugar free. Yes. Yeah. 
and it's just people it's just people having a good time like it ain't it's not even like you know what's funny like even though this song is definitely like a sexualized song it this video feels just like this a is party. a this is an anthem yeah anthem that, party yeah that black also like when when Lil Wayne part a little Wayne's part comes in like everybody oh, would go yeah. crazy over that part yeah. and meanwhile he's not really saying anything <laughs> well you know what's you funny I get up and I rap, 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 drop it like it's hot like this is back when it wasn't even video vixens. It was just those are the homegirls from down the Dude. block. <laughs> hey, bitch, get on stage. <laughs> so I was shaking that and shit. And it's funny because I remember back then, me and my friend, oh, my God, we were obsessed with uh, just cash money and the big timers. I never saw Lil Wayne as being a front runner. I was yeah. always like, no, because like, he was like in the cut. I was like, he's the little bro of the group, and yeah. you know, and you know, uh, very you know, popular in his own way. But I was like, Juvenile's the front runner, in my opinion. Yes, Juvenile. Yes, because uh, he had a he had a lot of hits. Yeah, Birdman, Manny Fresh. Uh, dang, uh, BG. Who's saying bling bling. Yeah, 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 BG was like in the middle, and then there was like one more. There might be. Oh no, no, uh, Turk. Turk, yeah, 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 but no, because I remember, I remember, hot man, boy. I remember like Project <laughs> Chick was so popular Project when I was younger. Yes, bro, all these songs, and then I remember Lil Wayne got into his like lyrical bag, and yes. then it was like, oh, he's not like the dudes he came mm -hmm. up with, like in the sense of he's got he's got more talent in that. Yeah, what that was pen. the one before the Carter, the first Carter? Uh, the, there's a Carter one. I don't know if I. I don't know. All I know is he that had, he had an album before that, but I know like the Carter one is what like. All, uh, all I know is that there were a bunch of blinged out rhinestones on the cover of each album. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. First you, of all, those albums. Yo, that was around that time, bruh. Was fire. Well, yeah. them and them and No Limit had like those. No covers, limit. Because you, know? you were you were saying like the song of a, of our of my youth. And like generationally, that song just think just sticks out to me. And outside of that, I'm thinking about like mystical, like the, yeah. Uh, yeah. what's it called? No uh, Shake it fast. Shake it yeah. fast. Yeah, or shake that ass. Uh, or oh yeah, yeah. That I, was a that was I a huge just, one too. Ah. But I, I remember being yeah. like nine, and my dad going around. I was like, oh yeah, shake that ass. Yeah. Shake it. Watch yourself, and like thinking it was funny, <laughs> and like. I remember, like you know, being adjacent to it, seeing it, realizing that yo, for sure. This music is not of my age group. It was the age group who was, you know, growing up and going from high yeah, school to yeah. college of the time. Above us, yeah. But we were just a part of it. So what can you say? Like I, I, I remember I did a joke on stage talking about uh Ludacris and I started mm -hmm. and I was talking about um what's your fantasy? And I was like, bro, I remember being in the car <laughs> I remember when that song blew the fuck up and I yes. was going to this private school. And I used to carpool with this white girl and her mom to a private school, bro, from uh, in the valley to over the hill into L.A. And one morning, I think I asked him, I'm like, hey, can we listen to uh, it was it might have been Power 106, might have been 92.3 to be because they used to be way bigger than Power 106 when I was a kid. Mm, OK. And then it was uh, ludicrous. And it was like, what's your fantasy? I want to get you in the back seat. Windows, windows up. up. That's the way I like yeah. to. I'm in the back. I'm like, and me and the girl, me and the little girl, like, eh, that, yeah, fog yeah. alert, rip the pants and rip the shirt, rub yeah. sex, make it hurt. And I remember on stage, I was like rapping it out loud because some girl said, the girl and her mom was like, oh, we're from Atlanta. And I'm like, yo, Atlanta, that's my shit. <laughs> and then I was like, who's your favorite rapper? And and uh, the the daughter who was only like 33 was like, oh, I like Lil Baby. And the mom was like, I like Ludacris. And I'm like, hey, girl, yes. Ludacris. What's up, mom? And then I was just in the crowd rapping it. And then at a certain point, I'm like, bro, I absolutely should not have been listening to those that's lyrics. What, see, that, see, that's what's so crazy about some of these songs, like Back yeah. to Thing of and then uh, fantasy or whatever. Yeah. It's like, you're not thinking sexually. You're nah. like, this song's dope. You're just thinking the song's dope. I remember my first. Because we don't have the, we don't have the cognitive uh, aware, self-awareness to even realize what's really being That's said. That's not how I took, yeah, that, yeah. Took that song. What were you going to say? I, my first like girlfriend in, in high school, I remember I went over, the parents were like, let's rent a movie. Yeah. And I, we go to the video store and I, I, I go, this is so funny. And I grab, don't be a menace to South Central. <laughs> Watch drinking your juice in the hood. Put it on with the fam, like the mom, the dad, <laughs> and then at a certain point, the dad just gets up and go, "All right, that's uh, like pop <laughs> And I'm like, "They must have thought I was fucking insane." Of be like, "This is great." I was really. But you're not. You weren't it. looking at it like for the thing. Nah, you know, it's funny. it's because we're we're innocent humans at that mm -hmm. point. We don't we we literally are just being as honest as possible. None of it, unless unless it's overtly 
you know, grotesque and ob- yeah. like very yeah, obvious. horrendous, yeah. sexualized. This and the third. We don't really. We're just like this is fun. Yeah, it's like this is fun. There's a lot of colors on screen. Yeah. This mm-hmm. is funny. That yeah. guy's hair looks wacky. Like that's yeah. how we're looking at. Yeah. It. Yeah, that the like you said turned it off. Like, oh yeah, the the, the yeah. same same when we were in the car that morning. The mom, I think, or no, I was in the back seat. The daughter was in the front passenger. I'm in the back in the middle, just hanging out. And bro, we're halfway through. What's your fantasy? I'm probably like mouthing the lyrics, and the mom's looking at me through the fucking <laughs> rear view. Like, like, what is this little yeah. freaky black boy doing to my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> we did, but we never even hung out outside yeah, of yeah. school. It was just she. We just lived near each other. Uh, but I just remember we were both enjoying this song and we were like 12 at this point, probably. So, yeah. you know, and I was, I remember rapping those lyrics and saying what I was saying. Cause it, I was like, bro, these lyrics are fucking slap. crazy. They slap. Yeah. Which is so crazy with the next question. Cause you're talking about car. What is your favorite <laughs> song to play in the car? I'm good at this. Give me that. There it is. There it is. Give me some skins. There it is. So uh, what is your favorite song to play in the car? This right here. <laughs> What is it? Oh my God! MOP <laughs> Annie, up. Up. are you dude, serious? We've had this on the show like four times this at this a, point. It's dude, but never for this. Never for, never for never this. For this? No, oh my bro. God, I love it. You got this. So good. This song. This song is so <laughs> iconic. Attention, please. This song makes my fucking makes my body chill. Uh, oh, we never played the the remix though. Huh? No, the remix got Busta and Remy Ma on it. Yeah. Buster rhymes now. MOP now. What you want now? What you want now? What you want now? What you want now? What you want? What you want? What you want? What you want? And he up. Gap that fool. Hey. Get back that fool. Got them jewels. Man, this this was prime Buster. This shit goes so hard. It goes so hard. Boy, go up to on stage to this. I'm fucking that show up. I don't, <laughs> get, I don't give a fuck what you say. What did Tony Baker say? What he, did? <laughs> he said, I'm robbing everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, goes, he goes, I'm taking the water out of your fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. taking the carpet <laughs> off your floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, he liked this song, too, on a different oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can hear him, too. I'm taking everything out the house. Yeah, yeah damn it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. taking it off. I'm taking it off. I'm leaving the fish. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'll leave yeah. 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 the water. Yeah. I'll take the water. <laughs> yeah, bro, this song goes God, so fucking hard. This is like a hardcore hard. video. Like they got like New York hardcore dudes yeah, in this video. Yeah, they seriously do. People so moshing. Everyone on the song murders. Like yeah. this is one of them tracks where it's like no one's better than anyone else. We're just murdering a yeah, track it's together. All murder it. Elevating everybody, yeah. Brownsville. It's run back. It's run that. God, who no, has more energy than Busta, dude? Just, oh, you know, bah, shout bah. out, to, shout out to MOP. This song, oh. is, it's another like never will not be cool to me. First of all, it's funny that you play this in the car, Bruh, Fuck yeah, I I'm trying. Relax. Try, nah, in the this car, is yeah. shooting guns out of you. I, 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 I know mean, Danny's just driving down. All right, so I'm, <laughs> it depends. It depends. It depends on my day. Yeah. You know. Like if I'm like hyped off of some, got some good news. Oh, play that fucking yeah. okay, play yeah. that Annie up, yeah. bro. Fair. Like play Annie up. Play uh, what's that song? Guess who's uh back by not not Mace. Uh, what's the name? Uh, uh guess who's Bizak still got the blonde. Oh, clothes, uh, guess young, who? Uh, young go, cra- young, go crazy. Sorry, yeah, go, that no that's an anthem. Young, yeah, Jeezy, Jeezy and Jeezy and, and young dope yeah, Jeezy and Jay Z go crazy. Yeah. That oh no, the re- yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 this beat goes so hard. This like either you know how to freestyle rap or you're a crazy dancer and yeah. you're about to just uh-huh. fuck it. With clothes, you know, sniffing the moles. Oh, school, I was popping the moles. That beat's hard. Gotta huh? re-up, yeah. gotta recycle the flow. I love my block. I'm so emotional. I love my block. Yes. Thing around me, then yeah. what's realer? Count the Skrilla, call me a ghost face killer. Ugh. Hard being drunk free. Bro, let's go rob these... somebody from this let, podcast. Hey, if let's you wanna... do a drive by. <laughs> let's do something. Come no, on, let's, let's go. Right like, now. Let's go streaking. Like, the anthem, the anthem to rob people got to be give me the loot. By oh, give, that, me, give me the loot. Like give me the loot. Heat by Fifty Cent with the fucking oh, gunshots oh, yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, heat. No, I Wait, know which one is. No, I don't heat. know that one. It's no, on I know. Get I know. Die it's a dun 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 dun. Is that or no? That's not. Yeah, if there's heat popping, you feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't blow your brains, dun, dun, brains dun, out. out. Yeah, there's no uh, time to pop it. Yeah, yeah, man. Nah, now fifty was another. 
Yeah, 50 got people robbed, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> straight up. Wait, fast forward this, cause I, I don't know what this is. Oh, he made a video? Hilarious. Oh, I have seen this video. This is terrible looking. <laughs> I know, first of all, like Jack in the Box. This is time. Hey, Mike, can we recreate this video? It's hot out this bitch. That's a good enough reason. Making graphics that shit is gonna be hard this time. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really mad at this green screen. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, this green they screen. They did him wrong, bro. It's horrible. Wait, I'm so confused. How is this track? This did this come out before Wangsta somehow? No, no, this no. Wangsta came out on the Eight Mile soundtrack yeah. before the record even dropped. Okay, but what about the video? What, what happened to oh, the budget? This was cutting GTA. edge back then, man. No, Wangsta looks so much more no, professional. I, no, I think he's trying to do GTA. Yeah, he's definitely trying. Yeah. But like, bro, all the all the scenes with him on the green screen need to leave. <laughs> I love this so line, fun. the most gangster line. He goes, uh, before oh! you spray your mama crib and let your ass look for yeah, me. Yeah, wow. Like, oh, jump in the same thing, do nothing. And then, 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 blow your brains out. <laughs> There's no time to cock it. No way to stop, stop it when it run screen. up on you that with green the screen is out. hilarious. No, that green screen is bad. Like, yeah. They couldn't even color correct yeah. it. That's wild. What was the I next think his color Mike? is correct. So everybody, <laughs> yeah. black is beautiful. Right? Black is beautiful. What's the next oh, question, Mike? Man. Uh, next question is. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Oh, yeah, that, I the love, that I love. What, it. I mean, I've been robbing motherfuckers since the yeah, slave ship yeah, is one that, of the yeah. hardest lines yeah. of all time. I've been robbing motherfuckers since the slave ship and the, the same, same clip, clip with the same four five. Uh, uh, now uh, motherfucker, uh, sure to die. Uh, What's wait, my word? Then, 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 try to go God. hard. Then, 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 it's so oh, hard. hard. Yes, love. Love your fucking attitude because like the, this pussy is it's getting screwed up from the pistol whipping. Your neck from the necklace slipping. Yeah, that's that's the. And yeah. I'm robbing bitches too. Yeah, at the, the hair bone bones and bad so the rest of song. That song's yeah. good. Oh, they even still censored. I don't I give a fuck if you're pregnant. Yeah, you can hear the on Spotify. It goes. Vroom. He says something about robbing like a white lady for her jewels too. That oh, I really funny. like. That's yeah, my, that I really like. Man. Yeah, I really like that. He it just like, hey, you it's like it's something about. Like, I feel like the lyric is like the white lady tries to like put her stuff in the way. It's like bitch, run that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That shit. Oh, man. Nah, man. Why did Diddy kill him? Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna leave that in. Best live, <laughs> best live music you have ever uh, seen. All right, so I put Jay Z and Beyonce because oh, that I, I haven't been to a lot of concerts like really? that. I mean, I went to like Janet Jackson as a kid. Hell yeah! My mom, I think my mom took me to that. Me and my wife yeah, saw cool. Lion Babe and also ah, this other girl who's like a rock punk rock girl that my my wife really enjoyed. Her? And no, no, it's uh, damn, I forgot Dorothy or something. I think that's. I think I heard of Dorothy. I think she's like, yeah, yeah, Dorothy. I think that's what it is. But I'm just thinking about how hype texture is. Because he, you know, he went through all his hits. She went through all her hits. So on this on this tour. Yeah, so this had I, to be insane. So it's one of them things where I was just like, oh, this is like all these songs I've heard and I know them like that. And the only other concert I can really wrap my head around is like I went to the Game Awards once and like. Uh, what's the Black Beatles or what's what's some kids' names? Uh, <laughs> no what's flex. Some, what's some, What's their names? <laughs> what's some kids' name? Ray Shrummer. Ray, no, nah, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, the internet. Is that yeah? No, that's their no, name. But yeah, Ray internet. Ray Shrummer yeah. came out and did Black Beatles in the city, yeah, and yeah. that song went went yeah. hard. But it was like I didn't really go specifically to see him. But yeah, shout out to No Flex Zone. No Flex Zone. Yeah, they so worry guys. about us. <laughs> I, I remember every time I think about them, I'm like, bro. Y'all, if y'all would have just came out when Rocket Power came out, y'all would have been the ones. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Boy, look just like <laughs> Auto Rocket. Like That's <laughs> Auto Rocket right there. That's That'd so have been great crazy. marketing right there. Shrimmer. No Flex Zone. You never heard of them? Yeah, the name always bothered me. That girl is yeah. a good baby. Ray yeah. Shrimmer. There you go, yeah. <laughs> like, the, that song and the... You know that it, it's because it's backwards, right? You know that. No, I didn't yeah, know Yeah, yeah, it's oh. supposed to be... What does it stand for? Drum, ear, ear drummer. Ear drummer. Ear drummer, yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh. Yeah. And you know, does it cool. bother you more or less now? Drew? Also, more. That's the that's the lesson. <laughs> also, What's, it's just like that's the, the lesson. The main the main dude who looks like Auto Rocket, like he popped his friend. I don't know what's going on. If they're friends, they're brothers. Still. They're brothers for real. That girl, she a real ground, please. Yeah, that one? I know that. All song. I know is that, that girl is yeah. That, that, song. that and the song from the Spider Man Miles Morales track. The, oh yeah, da, the da, Sunflower. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, so that's them and Post Malone. 
I think so. Yeah, mm, that's a good song. Those, I like it, that. Uh, when he when he, when it Post Malone, when Post Malone is with him, it's Most Malone. Oh, Most Malone. <laughs> See what I did that's there? Not those are, backwards. Those are the three. Oh, toast, not, toast, Lamone. Toast Lamone. Oh, toast Lamone. Oh, Toast Lamone. <laughs> those are the only three songs I can really name off of them though. If I'm being honest. <laughs> but wait, how how like how was that Beyonce Jay Z concert? It was just it was dope just because they were just going through a bunch of hits and you forget about all the things that they've like collabed on. Yeah. Either Either together or just their own stuff, you know, like Jay- just me and my girlfriend. Yeah, me and my girlfriend. they, did they a, have a live band. I don't know. It was they. It was at the. They, uh, they he did, hides it. They, he cool. has a live. They oh, have they're a live like band. in the orchestra. Yeah, pit. yeah. They That's part, yeah. Yes, they're in the pit. They did it at the Rose Bowl, and it was like it was big. It was Damn. dope. I think yeah. it broke records on. Uh, oh no, that tour definitely yeah, broke, broke records. Yeah, oh, and I think sure. it was like the second time they came around. Mm. So it's like the on the run oh, tour too. Yeah, yeah. Still on the run. Yeah. Oh wow. We be running. We be running. We be running. Can't <laughs> keep running. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't know if you do this or not, because some people do. Some people <laughs> don't. But what is your go-to karaoke song? This my joint right here. What is it? Destiny's Child, Independent Women. Oh, shit. This song, I don't This is don't, from uh, Charlie's Angels, I don't care right? what no one says. This is one of the best. This is the best. This is low-key my favorite song ever. This is that wow. jam? This is the karaoke the, one. This, this joint God, I remember this, this video, smacks. dude. Yeah. This, this joint slaps. Yeah. Woo. I don't remember the video. I know the song, obviously, because of mm-hmm. Charlie's Angels. That baseline Angels. fucking mm-hmm. riff. Mm-hmm. Shouts out Lucy Liu. Drew Barrymore. Yeah. Charlie's Angels. Come on. Oh, damn. Uh, uh, uh. That part's fire. I Tell like me what you think about me. Tell me what you think about me. I got my own diamonds and I got my own rings. You know more lyrics than I do. me. When is it over? Come up and leave. Question. Tell me what you think about this. Business. Own bills. Ain't no 50 50 in relationships. Hey. The clothes on my feet. I got it. I'm wearing. I bought it. I'm rocking. I bought it. Cause I depend on me. If I want it, I'm wearing. I bought it. I'm That's living. actually this is actually I a hard ass karaoke song. All yeah. oh, this shit goes. Hard. People get so excited. Oh, yeah. Good I'm, I'm like excited. If you know how to sing, then great. If you don't, it's even better. You gonna even blow better. your freaking you'll blow your vocals out. Yeah, and that's fine. Oh, yo, hands up at this me. Just, this shit actually slaps really fucking hard. Freaking no, it slaps. You know, the part that slaps is when Beyonce gets to her solo. And she starts hitting all these like orcas, like these uh, uh like octaves. octaves. Yeah, these octaves that are like almost. Uh, it's in the bridge. It's what do you call that thing? It's like a uh, opera. Like, she's yeah. almost trying to. Operatic. It's like, it's like when she's getting into her first opera thing. The. I don't know. Right here, Dizzy Child. What's up? But then the then what's up? <laughs> dun, 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 oh, right here, right here. This, 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 uh, yeah. Is that like falsetto or is that falsetto? Uh, go Beyonce. Uh, oh, it must have been so hot in that room, man. Bro, these oh, graphics right. are ass. Yo, Mike, can and we do wait, this wait, one listen, too? Listen, <laughs> listen for it coming. Listen for coming. Oh, the wind, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they elevated. <laughs> that shit's crazy. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, wow. Uh, bro. I don't know why I love oh, this song, but this song is it's my, a good song. It's about, my it's, shit. It's, it's, it, it, this it, song it, goes it so hard. Pops. It's also just it fun. Up. It's like it's just fun. It, yeah, you know. like that. Charlie, good message. How your angels get down there. like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Support women. Support <laughs> women. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Support. I, I don't even. I, maybe that's this not will even, be our clip next week. Maybe it won't. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. know by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> support black women. God damn it. Yeah, support black women. Support Mexicanas. Yeah, thanks. Because aren't you one? Yeah, a Mexican, a Mexican, <laughs> Mexican woman. Yeah, that's yeah. me. Uh, <laughs> nah, that's did mine. I get you? Is that why you're always trying to fuck me? Oh, ew. <laughs> I knew you'd get British, it. Pause, pause, <laughs> pause, homie. British, uh, okay, all right, let's get into it. Joel's least favorite part. One of my oh, favorite yeah, parts. I might credit her. Uh, song you play when feeling sad. Uh, it's a song my dad used to sing. Oh, oh my god. Oh man. Nice. Yes. Sit. It's just some song he knew. It's a nice song. It makes me, oh, makes my me God. Oh, shit. Yeah. I know this song. Don McLean. It's about Vincent Van Gogh killing himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is this Bob Dylan? No. I, you know what? I, I don't know who the original original is. Not Bob I Dylan. thought it was um, Don McLean. That's what it said Don online. McLean. Don McLean? It's just a... Uh, I don't know. He just used to sing it all the time. So it's like... Is that the guy from the Eagles? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. That voice It's a beautiful so song. It's a nice like song. Familiar. Yes. You know? And my dad just, he one of them dudes who was like very cultured. He was really like into Yeah, who did Don McLean? Did he art. sing for a band? I don't know. Because this reminds me of you're going to San Francisco. Mm. Put a flower in your hair. You know that song? Yeah, yeah. I don't I know who sings so. that. I don't think he did sing in a band. I mean, I think it's his I, band. I think it was. Oh, American Pie. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. He sings of. American Pie. Uh, gotcha. Yeah, I, it, the uh, voice uh, sounded so familiar. I wanna know this American yeah. Pie. Yeah. Yeah, this, this, song, this song is sad as shit, too. It's all sad. about. It's yeah. gorgeous. Because, yeah. uh. Van Gogh was kind of like. Well, he talks about like how it's it's like your mi- misunderstood person who just was like not fitting into society, I guess. Yes. Or, and then you know, feeling alienated. Van Gogh and shit. cut. Yeah, Van Gogh cut that ear. Wow. And how Live on the vi- Midnight Special, if you like bad visual effects, there's <laughs> green screen from 1973. Oh, I thought he was. This standing looks in better front of- than 50 Cent. <laughs> this look way better than 50 way, Cent. Yeah, it does. And this only Swear costs 25 Cent. Uh, yeah. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why we had we had to listen to the song in uh, art class because they were explaining Van Gogh right. and breaking his. This is very much a background down. in art class or at a oh for uh, sure. Color me mine. I think if there. I sat here and listened to this, I'd break into tears probably. Oh for sure. I think it's, it's sad too because like it reminds me of my dad from yeah. the perspective of yeah the way he talks about Van Gogh reminds me of my dad like he's a guy who had to be like mm. like his family's like financial anchor yeah and like nobody ever helped him who van gogh did no no i'm, no, think, I'm thinking about my dad okay, yeah, I gotta, yeah. Not, van gogh i think is like also it's just one of them things where it's like you don't take the time to mit- to understand the people who i guess help you out the most and what mm. they do to get yeah. get there sometimes yeah. they hide it from you, or it's you don't also, even know it's also you know? just like what what they go through is so isolating Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think, I, you know, I think about that as being an entertainer. It's like, yeah, sure. doing that. It's obviously a choice, but at the same time, it's like we're so busy. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to do the cliche thing, but it is true. A lot, a lot of times, you're so busy making other people laugh, nobody is there to make you feel yeah. happy. Yeah, no, mm-hmm. you know. I, and I hate this thing where, like, yeah, it is a choice, but that doesn't mean we can't be like sad about shit every now and then. It's like, <laughs> oh, you get to like do shows for people. What are you sad yeah. about? It's like I'm fucking human. Like, yeah, no, they, yeah. They, life well, hits everybody. Ian, man. Ian from Military Gun, he he kind of yes, was exactly. About I was that. just thinking about that. Yeah, yeah he was kind of like, just saying like how like he's not allowed our, to be both. Almost like as if our problems aren't real. You know, yeah. what I mean? sometimes it's I mean, like, but then you, but then you go on, then you go uh, a few months and motherfuckers are killing themselves. Yeah, like friends yeah. of our. Yeah. I never thought. I think it's like I would always hear about that from friends of my dad's, because mm. you know he grew up he, he, as a comic in the seventies. Crazy, and he's the, such he, a like he's time. you know yeah. first class of comedy store dudes. He was, yeah. I believe he's the first door guy technically. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like there's a picture of him. He put, was on the basket, the comedy store. That's basket. amazing. Yeah, he, I got fucking yeah. goosebumps yeah, from he, that. Like he's got know. like his name is over there in La Jolla on like you know the billings for certain nights where they went yeah. up, and he yeah. helped he helped Mitzi. I believe put up stuff on when they first opened the La Jolla yeah. location. There, there's another old flyer, like I think from the back bar to like the to the belly room. Mm-hmm. I think there's a there's something else there with your dad's name on it too. Very yeah, cool. yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Like what is yeah. yeah. So it's one of them things where, you know, obviously he he he, he doing he went through his life to live it, but mm. I mean, it's just I mean, obviously we're we're all human and able to be vulnerable and have our moments, but. Uh, specifically, like that song, I I don't know. I think it's like he would always sing it to me as a kid. Damn. And I remember. I'm glad I did this, but like before he passed away, I had him sing it to me on camera. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Because he was making a gaming video with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, and we were just, we were just in between takes, and he was like, well, "Damn, JJ, hurry up, get your goddamn, uh, <laughs> get your game, get your game box ready to go, yeah. so we could get this thing going." <laughs> And then I think I just randomly asked him to sing it for me, so I'm glad I have that. Oh, that's wow, amazing. that's awesome. Also, if I start crying, I'm you know I'm a vulnerable dude. I really don't care. No, um, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, dude. That's but what we, that's what we do here. Yeah, yeah, I've no. cried on the show before. Nah, it's just I don't know. I feel like when I think about him, I feel like he was so isolated and had to take care of everybody. And when I worked on this with my therapist. He was like, "You can't blame yourself mm-hmm. for your dad's passing," and I don't. But I just feel like I. I never knew how to help him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Like, I feel like my help for him was, like, becoming independent at a certain point in my life. For sure. And outside of that, it's like, it I, It always felt shitty to see, or it felt shitty to have real conversations with him and then him tell me, 
how like he perceived life. Like he didn't love stand up like mm. at a certain point. Like mm. he did when he was younger. But then as he got older, he's like, JD, it's a job. He never oh, like, wow. you know, like I like because I remember when I started doing comedy, I would ask him like, you know, do you even like this? Mm. And he's like, like it. <laughs> the fuck? I'm, yeah. I don't I don't. He's like, I don't have the luxury to like it. Yeah. Because who the because oh, wow. who else is going to do what I'm doing to provide for all y'all? Mm. And he's and he's like, he's like, who, who going to get a job? Who going to work? Your mother? Yeah. Your, your, your <laughs> younger brother. And I was like, yo, don't throw me in there. I'm 20 something. I don't live with yeah, y'all no more. Yeah. yeah. But it was it just was sad to think of what an isolating life that was yeah. to, you know, your work. Even, even though, like, having a family. You got you a family. I mean? Yeah. Y- it you still know, can be isolated. But got a family. He grew up in a family of 11 brothers and sisters. So Damn. he was, I think, one, I think he was in the middle. And, you know, at that, 11 brothers and sisters, you're not going to get the emotional needs met at, at that with that many people. Of course, yeah. You know, I, I mean, my he, dad's the same. Big yeah, family. he didn't have the tools to be a dad for me. He was very much like just a provider. Mm-hmm. And we had our relationship, which was great. But I just it was so weird because it was like I never felt like there was a proper way to connect with him. Mm-hmm. And I know when he passed, that was a part that I really regretted. I'm like, damn, we didn't we never mm-hmm. we, it was never it never felt like a father son dynamic. It mm-hmm. felt like. I mean, it, it was, there were moments where it did, and I think, if anything, my younger brother got a lot more of that, mm-hmm. because, you know, as I, we're eight years apart, so as I'm oh, God, okay. growing up, my mom and my dad is already established and made money, he can actually put the time in to spend yeah, with him. Yeah. yeah. And not to say he didn't spend time with me, more to say that those nuances were definitely missed. Missing, yeah. yeah. And, and also, he just didn't have the tools. Like, if I asked him to try to do father-son shit, he was a comic first. Yeah. So, like, I'm getting roasted for asking him to like Hilarious. i remember one i remember one time jokingly i asked him let's go fishing neither of us know how to fucking fish yeah and then he was just like laughing he's like <laughs> you want to go fishing what <laughs> and i and then he called my brother in the room he's like alex 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 come in here <laughs> and i'm like i'm like what's <laughs> happening and then he's like alex your brother say he want to go fishing <laughs> and they both start laughing and i'm like <laughs> i'm like i hate you niggas man i hate y'all with a passion because i can't because i'm not because you know so the vulnerable vulnerability uh yeah. just never really did but it is ironic because then later we shot a tv show pilot and we did go fishing on the tv pilot. Fuck That's yeah. hilarious. Nice. but it was it, you know but the whole time he's complaining about the pilot because he you know yeah and i have a copy of it which is yeah fun. well yeah. also that's that's your story yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's I always, I always, I always think of that with me because I, you know, with, with, with shit in my life and all this stuff and, you know, like all the, you know, the things I've spoken about billions of times, but I always have to just realize I'm like, well, that's, that's my story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, that's what it was. Same. Yes. My dad, you know, my, same. I just think there was a certain time, even if they weren't in entertainment, that it, being a father at a certain time was very isolating. You're working these long hours trying to pay bills. You know, no yeah. one's talking to dad. It, it's like the Chris Rock. What do they get? The big piece of chicken. That's it. Like, yeah, yeah, well, other than that, they're fucking off. You it's, know? And it's fascinating because, like, I mean, I'm not a parent, but, like, just think about the concept of parenting. There's no – no one can – no one's ever taught anyone how to be a parent. Yeah. Uh, you know no what I mean? Manual, like, there's yeah. people who have, like, su- given suggestions based off of their experience, but there is no – here's here's really... how parenting goes and you should prepare for it yeah mm-hmm. like we know how like certain things go like you know we know how curriculums go we know how school goes we know how this All and that. what you should achieve it, very much parenting is you are learning this on the fly and you can take suggestions from other people and whatever or family members but then again you consider like well how did you turn out and why the fuck am i taking advice yeah, from yeah. a motherfucker who fucked my shit up yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, yeah but then again you can't I, you can never blame them like it's like it's it's just uh you know it's just very much just uh like the repercussions of con of of, of consequences just that's just how it is and it's it's just cause and reaction you just go yeah. through and live that but Where's uh, my support dog Wrigley, get I, got, in here. I got one question not while we're on the topic yeah, of your yeah. dad how did you feel <laughs> when you heard the toby noigwe uh line have you when he Oh, I remember, I, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I would say, cause I, I forgot what the bar is. It's, he says, he says if something ever touched, whatever, blah, 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 big Glock, RIP John Witherspoon, bang, bang. Yeah. But I'll, it was just cool to have him bring it. I thought, you know, it was, uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm not a fan of my father, mm. the way that fans are fans of him. Gotcha. Yeah. So I'm just like, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no yeah. disrespect. I, cause you know, if anything. He had he had a shout out way back in the day with that uh, what's that song that went bang bang 
old old pops looking boy like whatever that uh, oh uh, yeah uh, some some old looking boy yeah looking boy uh, from 2000 okay from, yeah so it's like you know, even he he was in the sick of being lonely video with uh, what's it called? Uh, Stop and then in your wait. placement. Then don't call me sick of being lonely. Like my dad was uh, in the video. That's, that's, yeah, I remember that I song. I was on the every other night. Yeah, you know, you be called. Yeah, right. I, me and <laughs> I, think I think so. Right. I, I for, it was a. Get your hand I forgot them dudes from Atlanta. Wrigley, where you at? But it's just one of them things where like my dad was a part field of field mob. That's field mob. Was, yeah, he was field mob. I just remember. Like, if there's a bar about him, I mean, if he wasn't excited, I don't know why the fuck I would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I personally yeah. just never saw it. Like, I mean, I I think it's cool, but at the end of the day, I think people are fans of him in a way where I'm like, I can't wrap my head around Yeah, you, you Like, I'm like, bro, be. I don't look at him the way y'all look at him from TV. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, because you know why? Because he never brought that shit home. Yeah. yeah. He's not pops on the Waynes Brothers at home. He's not. Yeah, he's not Miss, uh, you know, Mister Jones from Friday at home. At home, he's a com- he's a com- he's a he's a fucking regular ass dude. Yeah, who honestly would rather not fucking try to <laughs> put on a goddamn show for you yeah, yeah, yeah. in person. So, not to say he wasn't funny, he was naturally funny. It didn't even matter. But yeah, I always looked at that and I was just like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know, it, like if someone's a fan enough to shout him out, it's cool. I'm not like. <laughs> I'm just not like super impressed. I yeah, guess. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because gotcha. like people, I only say that because I'll get like something like that. I do remember the to- the Toby bar. I think I remember seeing somebody else shouting out on his stuff, especially posthumously. And it's just like cool. He meant something to all these so, people. Yeah, yeah, that's what it felt and, like. Was, and you know, and I guess I have the burden of being the main, the only other person in my family who does entertainment like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I guess my mom kind of does it, but like in the sense of like I've built up like a following all on my own prior to uh, my dad even passing. Because mm-hmm. a lot, you know, because the influx of people knowing he's my dad's after he died. Because yeah. I, because you know what it is. After someone dies, it's like, oh, no, what? Oh my God. And, yeah. and it, it's like, I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, you can't believe people who get older and don't take care of their <laughs> fucking bodies die yeah. out at a certain age. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. you know, because like, that, I think that's just, I think that's the parasocial relationship that people have with. For sure. And any type and, of like Quincy yeah. Jones just died. And it's like what? And he's like he's ninety one. He, he, like, he was ninety one. Ninety one. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. didn't give a shit up until this point. Yeah, Let's yeah, be real. Yeah. You yeah. you love all the stuff that he did for sure. But you don't have you don't have a real relationship or thought process of who that person is for sure. You have an yeah, idea yeah. of what he's done in the world, and you're you know that might connect with you, sure. But it's not the same. So like I get like daily to this day get spammed with anything related to him wow my dad on social media and my dms and shit and like i don't dislike it i think it's just that people don't have the emotional intelligence or self-awareness to realize like hey y'all glad you're a fan of him i am having a great tuesday yeah and i don't want to be reminded of how he's dead in a box in the floor right now (laughs) yeah yeah yeah, yeah. (laughs) like i just want to enjoy my tuesday and go on with my day and not that I not that I can't, you know, because it's because it's also I grieve him in my own way. Like I, re- I realized this past week or maybe in the last week and a half, I didn't it like he, the day that he passed away just recently happened. So like the, mm. you know, five years of him being gone and I didn't really think about it. Like mm. I remember noticing it like a day or two before. Cause I think I saw like a family member post about it or some shit. And it was like five years and blah, blah, blah. Hashtag something. Love you. Some shit. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> and I'm looking at it like y'all niggas were not friends. Like, oh, or, you right. know, yeah. like yeah. you, like people love that. It's just one of those things mm-hmm. where it's like, I don't know. I always find that funny when people try to like glamorize relationships that weren't really there afterwards. And I, yeah. I would do the same thing. I was like, me and my dad were like more brothers than son, father and son. And I don't think I got enough out of him being my dad as what I wanted. Mm. So the relationship is very much just what I remember and what he remember. I do think we were like. I definitely think I was like closer with him than my mom, but it's just, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he had me in the 90s. We had our time. He had my brother. And then it's like they always focus on the second child more. So mm-hmm. by the time I'm eight years apart and in college, there is like, you know, that's they got like those charts where it says the time you spend with your family and shit. Mm-hmm. And like by 19, it's like that shit drops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, no, I, I think it's just one of them things where it's like at the end of the day, it's very cool. I'm, I'm very proud and grateful to be related to someone who had such an impact on the world Mm -hmm. that to me is something where it's like oh it's it's amazing you know and to even uh be 
you know, uh, in the same breath of like people enjoying me for whatever that I bring into the world is awesome. And I would not have it any other way. But, uh, you know, it's just the fandom around him and, and what he represents is very much like a thing that people have seen through a lens that I have seen in person. So mm -hmm. I oh, I think it's like there's I, I do have moments where I go through his like I've seen his catalog and I'm just like, I'm very proud that you I, like if anything, I wish he was as proud of himself as I think I am for him and others are for him. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think he had that type of like self-awareness to understand all like the impact he made on so many people. Yeah. Even even just like the people who like were friends and fans of him who are who go out of their way to keep in touch with me now. Mm. Like, you know, I don't have a relationship really with uh, uh, Tom Dreesen, David Letterman, uh, uh, all these people, Ice Cube, all, whoever it is. But because they were close with my dad, they go out of their way to respect him and, and give me like, uh, you know, love. Yeah. For yeah. whatever reason. And they don't have to. Yeah, you know, yeah. they're grown ass people who can just go on with their lives. You know, for sure. I, Sean and Marlon ain't got to pick up my calls, but they do. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's very cool that I, I was I'm able to especially since I leaned into accidentally doing comedy because yeah. it actually benefits. Eddie Murphy, but... give him a call. <laughs> yeah. I don't know Eddie like that. I, I think me and his daughter follow Boomerang. each other. <laughs> Boomerang's <th> six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Boomerang's six. Nah. Let's do it. I'll be in it. I'll be Eddie. <laughs> no, Let's I think I, I think it's like those moments get me kind of choked up when it's like I hate for my dad that he didn't realize how important he was to people because mm. he probably never had felt that way about himself. You know, he just thought, I'm just I'm just doing a job, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing a job. He knew people loved him. Like he would gloat and do shit like that. He'd be like, Oh yeah, but I know I know people love me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Talk about did you say love? Yeah, why is that thing? Look at that next question. See, you're good at this. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. You're good oh, at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good at this. Yeah. But yeah, no. Shout out to Dad, man. He, yeah, he, awesome. He, dude, that yeah. was that was he did his he did his job, and his legacy is, in my opinion, with him. I don't like the whole like you got you got big shoes to fill conversation. Yeah, I'm like I'm like, yeah, I'm like yeah. hey, bro, you can't do that. That's There's not no fair. Way. Yeah. I, if yeah. anything, I'm never filling them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even want those shoes. Yeah, I yeah. want those shoes. Yeah. I just talked. I was at the store and did a set in the belly room the other day, and literally talked about how like the whole Bronny James things is happening right now. I was like, I perfect. I can bet. Like, I could bet like a thousand dollars. Bronny's gonna look back at this moment in time and not look at it with such like, oh, this was a beautiful time. Yeah, I'm sure if he goes to therapy, he'll be like, yo, that shit was toxic, bro. Yeah, yeah. I did not like that everybody was comparing me to my dad when oh, I, yeah. you know, and it, not to say that he didn't appreciate it, but he, I'm sure he'll look at it and be like, it's not normal. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you, you know, if any, so foreign, yeah, I, I could never be my own person because there was this all, you know, this already this trajectory yeah. set for me. And if I don't live up to it, it's like you're garbage. And if you do yeah. live up to it, it's like, uh, you'll still have naysayers. Yeah. And it's like, you bro, can't I, win. Yeah, this shit is not fun. <laughs> I'll fucking win in the end. Yeah. Um, all right. Thank you for sharing that, by the yeah. way. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm very open yeah. and honest. No, that was beautiful. A uh, song that reminds you of love. Uh, Shh. This was played at our my me and my wife's Claude wedding. Claude Debussy. Oh, hell yeah. Claude Debussy? Debussy. No, it's Claire de Lune. It's a uh, How you say that name? Claude Debussy? This song remind this I guess this song reminds me of obviously my wife mm. and being married. We've been married almost 8 years. Oh my god, and, this is where I'm going to cry, dude. No, nah, I mean it's just this song is what we walk down the aisle to. But it's <laughs> funny. Keep saying more sad I know, stuff. right? Yeah, he keeps <laughs> yeah he's like, no, oh, no, no cry. You'll be, like, you'll be fine. This is but it's <laughs> funny though. Yeah. I was going to choose a different song, but then you guys said love mm. and this is like, you know, this is where my heart's at. My wife. Yeah. No, Shout yeah. out to Pilar. I love that. Gang, Shout gang. out to Pilar, gang gang. But um is Pilar Mexican? No, she has like a Mexican name, but she's black. Yeah, yeah. she's got or say, she's yeah, got Pilar a Hispanic. Is, there was a Pilar, Pilar in the Pilar, hood, yeah. Pilar. Pilar. Oh, um, everybody grew up with a Pilar. Yeah, I never heard that name before I met her. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Oh. It means pillar. Is she your pillar? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> she, no, she's she's my pillar. I only responded like that because she does not like being called pillar. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, I would never so call her. Like, I was just uh, translating it for. Remember all earlier when he said we have the wah wah button too. That would have been that. One. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh. Wait, this, what? So what? Uh, who? Do, who is this person? This is some, know, That's some, the old, some old dude. It's playing what feels like a piano. Who chose the song for your wedding? 
She did, I think. So that's the thing. It reminds me of my wedding day, which reminds me of the love I have for her. But if I'm thinking about love in general, I would say music soul child love. Mm. That song, and that's another song that reminds me of my wife and just the relationship we had when we were first like getting together because – I know that me, I know more or less me than her. She was very, very mature. And I was like very much putting her through like a two year fuck boy stage of dating. Oh, and, got it, got it. But that song uh, by Music Soul Child was like a song that just very much like resonated with, I don't know, the upbringing of 90s R&B that I enjoyed. And mm-hmm. also I was just like, I like this song for just what me and her had. It's a good song. Shout yeah. out to the Music Soul Child. Mm. Shout out. But um, yeah, that song so reminds me of love and just. I'm gonna look up. Uh, Mr. Yeah, it is. It's a beautiful piano thing. I could Mr. totally uh, see Mr. it. Uh, walking the bussy. Yeah. Don't um, disrespect. The shut name, up. Dude. What was okay. Uh, shout out to the bussy. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite slash workout? Annie up. Uh, <laughs> so could. that so that's the song that everyone picks that for. Oh, or sorry, that's the yeah. question that everyone picks. Any up for? I hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think like if I would have flipped in the car. Kanye West monster. That's right here. Hell yeah. I've just been listening. To, I've been listening to this lately, and this shit just every this time I'm album, in this. Oh, this this is immaculate. Immaculate. Yeah. I mean, to me, probably. I think it's, it's the best. best. It might be the best. We put it on the other day for. Uh, uh, to sacrifice uh, your life. Oh, what was that? Ah, bitch, I'm a monster, no I good blood sucker, <laughs> fat motherfucker. Now look who's in trouble. Oh, we got yeah, there's so many people on this. Bruh. Uh, Nicki Minaj. Like 90 verse. people on yeah, this. Yeah, people track. love Nicki Minaj's verse. Gossip, gossip. Just stop it. Yep. Everybody knows I'm, I'm a, a motherfucking monster. monster. Yeah, this is this is a good. This is this what I've just been listening to recently. Yeah, and very hype. It's a very like public enemy beat kind yeah. of. Yeah, almost yeah. Yeah, in this concert. I'm gonna need to see your fucking hands. Uh, the best living is dead right now. Huh? Uh, right yeah, now, this huh? might be his, uh, to me, might be his best album. This album it's so between, damn good. yeah, no, for sure. I feel like, yeah, I don't know, man. Kanye can be as crazy as he wants to. That music still hits. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm the same way with it. Crazy uh, people make good shit, yeah. bro. I know what it was. Can we get my giant? Oh, uh, yeah. God, I love that. And I love the piano. Yeah. Dun, 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 uh, Rizzo did that. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's another. I was just listening to that the other day in the car. Yeah, that song goes. And that's the body with the chaos. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the Moheron. Yeah. Can, Can we, we get, get much higher? higher? So high. Uh, uh, that's another. Uh, 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 bro, we just harmonized there. Uh, uh, we should. We should. <laughs> <laughs> back in Chicago. Mercy, mercy <laughs> me, that mercy a lago. <laughs> you, you, no you, 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 you ain't got no fucking Yeezys. You ain't got no Yeezys. That that <laughs> line goes so hard. Yeah. Uh, I remember I was I remember hearing that when I like was DJing in college and I was like, damn, I don't know if I have enough yeah. Yeezy in my yeah, Serato. Better get that. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. so what is your desert island album? All right, so this is video game music. Oh what? hell yeah, this is my shit. Jet Set Radio. Oh, oh, I know Jet I Set Radio. Yeah, Jet that was a graffiti Dreamcast? game, right? Yeah. Dreamcast? Yeah, boy. Yeah. Jet Set Radio. This is Jet Set Radio Future, but a mixture of Jet Set Radio 1 and Jet Set Radio Future, which is the sequel. I can listen to this fucking music every day. Really? No matter what. I could, like. I can listen to basically Hideki Naganuma, I think, was the main uh, composer on these albums. Oh, I, this is, and there's other people who are collaborators on this. But if you, if it's between Jet Set Radio One and Jet Set Radio Two, I can listen what, to that. Is this like 2000? Yeah, 2000, 2001. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, oh, man. Bro. All these tracks, like there's some songs on here. Just even the actually, it's kind of dope. Even like the, I think back in the day, I would hate it on this. Type, ty- can you type in just Jet Set Radio Garage? Just type in the garage. Just, just the fucking music for the waiting song when you're in the garage. Listen to this. This is my shit. I can listen to this shit. Just play. This is the soundtrack of the background of my life. Very cool bass line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gives me kind of tribe, Deadline. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ooh, this wow. shit. Wow. Wow. I'd uh. love to hear an interview with the guy who made this. And yeah. Be like, no, he's, still, yeah. he's still here. They call him the funky uncle, H- Hideki Naganuma, boy. Wow. Ja- yeah. Japan composer, bro. He's... Can I say that? The last name? <laughs> <laughs> Was it Naganuma? There's a, web, <laughs> there's a website for a person. Some dude is like a super fan of this, right? So if you type in jetsetradio.live right now and, yeah, click that and it'll take you to a website. And on the website, it's quite literally like all video game music. I li- I play this in the background whenever I'm streaming, because m- most of it is like royal, like royalty free. You don't have to worry mm. about it. But it's like a whole. I don't know who the person is cool that made graphic. this, but yeah, you click just click the website, and you click that icon in the middle, and you'll get a bunch of radio stations. Cool. And it's very much like the first two are like music from the first two games. And then the third one is like mixes of like new music with the game. And then you go to like, Bro, I'm actually, yo, I'm you, into this. Yo, if you want just good <laughs> I don't shit, know why yo, I got hype. yo, go to the next one. This is and, like shit you drive to. No, yeah. literally, but you can listen to like 15 different genres of music. Wow. And I always go to the, the next one whenever I need background music. This is the garage, so it basically plays music like we just heard. The boom, th- th- it'll play that track. It'll play other beats. It'll play like Tribe Called Quest. Uh, it'll play like Jurassic Five. Oh, nice. Yeah, and like you can even just scrub through all these and just like keep moving to the right. You don't have to play them, but you could just keep clicking to them. And they they all represent the graffiti gangs in the game. Cool. So Fuck each yeah. one is supposed to represent because like each graffiti gang was different. Like this is the GGs, which was like the main group, and then they have like. The noise tanks, which is like it's like hard punk rock, and then there's another one that's just like guitar stuff. Then you got like pop and a bunch of other stuff. Damn. And then awesome. they also have soundtracks from <laughs> other old video games when you get to the back end of it, and you can just uh, you can scrub through. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm giving directions. Nah, they get <laughs> oh, but yeah, no. Uh, but if you go all the way to the end, they have like the music from Crazy Taxi there. Yeah. They have the music from this game called Ali King in there. Space Channel Five. Crazy Taxi uh, has an Offspring song on it. Really? There you go. Yeah, they have a. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Then they got a. Uh, they all got. They got like the soundtrack to the newest uh, Toe Jam and Earl game. And like, oh, damn, no. oh, you got yeah. the new Adidas logo. Yeah, right so it, it's fire. And then, damn, like, there's so many. Yeah, bro, there's all this, all this. <laughs> Mike yeah. found Toe Jam and Earl. <laughs> bro, all this stuff, I could just literally sit back and just listen to super casually and just have a great day. But shout out to whoever the dude is that made this website. Yeah. But yeah, even Bomber Cyberfunk, which is a newer game. But man, I, I this is these. Oh, they got a method of methods of mayhem song on this. Wow. Yeah, yeah, these are the tracks that I listen to when I'm just like, I just need some music that'll play that I know I'm not gonna dislike any of it. But Hell yeah. yeah. Now, out. so now I'm curious of the last question. Yeah. What was the last one? What is your guilty pleasure song? Oh, uh, this. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this is it. I think. Yeah. Run that. Parappa the rapper. Parappa the rapper. Yeah, look, oh my the, god. Remember this game? Yeah. Yes. I got the beanie. Hell yeah. Yes. So I found out about this game because it was on like a demo. Remember they used yeah, to do demos? Yeah, PlayStation Magazine. Yeah. Something yes. like that. Yes, they used to do gotta demo. Believe. Gotta believe. Yes. You got to listen to this because when it gets to the end, I didn't know there was more than just the start screen. <laughs> yeah, they all on beat though. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so. <laughs> this is so dope. Shit goes hard. Oh, wait. that. Oh, can you click? extended version or something <laughs> no because extend because you don't what's the funny part is that de la soul did the soundtrack oh shit what Bruh, de la soul did the soundtrack to this whole joint huh. so you cut to a oh wait hopefully it's the one with de la you can scrub you can scrub through and see i if wonder it gets if that's there. yeah listen and what they did it with some japanese uh singer artist girl the beat shit go hard boy gotta believe so you need to run on Jack Black, <laughs> run through the door. It's Parappa the rap. I I love I love this shit. Yeah, it's good, dude. I love this. It's so fun. I saw I met the dudes from. And it's Paz. I met the dudes from De La at the Laugh Factory because they were friends with Russell Peters. Mm. Yeah, well, they yeah, just, yeah. They just uh, Russell Peters' his friend was like yeah. every fucking. They 90s randomly rapper. came through, and I was like, "Fuck, I want to tell them I love yeah. Parappa the Rapper too so bad." I didn't get around to do uh, it. I bet uh, they would have loved dude, that. They probably yeah. would have loved that because it's such a deep cut. Bro. I don't even know. I wonder if I have because because De La Soul gave away their whole catalog like. 
five to six years ago online. Oh, really? I wonder if this is one of the things on there. Maybe. I don't know if like what's their names like PlayStation owns. Yeah, the yeah, it might yeah. be that, yeah. So the that's well, damn. This is fine. All right, so then the secret question. Ask me that secret question okay. real fast. Secret uh, question. When you do a special, what will your walkout song be? Oh, that's crazy. A comedy <laughs> special? I don't know. It depends on the it depends on the special. Okay. I guess. I don't know what it is. At might this be. moment. Can you are you able to get like how do how does music work for specials? Can you play anything? Say, I mean, say, say it was, you can. Yeah, like, say yeah. you had it like that. Shit, is it any up? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. I don't know. Get Busta to come out. And that would be, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like stand up specials where it's like a fucking, it, turn, it turns into an event. I'm you out. don't like the oh, white yeah. tigers in the cages, man? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't need the, the, yeah. I don't need the dudes who say, let's get ready to rumble to bring me out, dog. It's too <laughs> much. Then you come out and you're like, hey, so I, I uh, yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, you gotta follow Yo, that. You gotta so, follow that. so dick cheese. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not sure. It might be something around these, but honestly, I have no idea. Parappa mm -hmm. the Rapper could it be. It might be Parappa the Rapper. Well, then let's finish it, off with Parappa the Rapper. I better have a bunch of fucking video oh. game jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. That's what it be. That's hard. JD, tell everybody where they can find you. Yo, you can find me on every platform at JD Witherspoon, just like it sounds. JD, W-I-T-H, and uh, Reese Witherspoon's name. You know, do that. <laughs> I like uh, <laughs> or for, for the white girls out there. Listen, or uh, <laughs> you need come, come, come to the show. Um, yeah. If not that, uh, gaming-related stuff is all run, JD, run. But if you if you just type in JD Witherspoon, game, yeah. I'm sure. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. But no, this has been fun. Thank you. Dude, no, great. thanks I want, for coming. I want, I want thanks, for, thanks for sharing yeah. all the stuff that you shared today. Day, man yeah. means a lot and uh yeah we'll see you we'll see you back next time yeah we'll, we'll, we'll create a new list for you i want to hey, know this no, gaming i got shit. i got i got a lot of tracks yeah in my head. no this was dope hell yeah hell all yeah, right guys dude. thank you